In a world of battle, having the right weapon can make all the difference. Today we're going to look at some of the deadliest weapons on the battlefield that you can craft. We have the Tiny Reaper. Now don't let this name fool you. This polearm packs a punch. With a razor sharp bent head, with a weapon reach of 185, a swing speed of 82, a swing cut damage of 136, and a handling of 74. Now in order to make this, you just need a tier 4 100% bent razor head, a tier 3 50% double thorn wings, and a tier 3 0 short pine staff. Now this is intentional. 185 is a really good reach, but what happens is when you have a really long pole arm, it's hard to hit enemies that are close to you. What makes this weapon really versatile is it could be used from horseback and on the ground. So it's just an all around great weapon. Another thing I like about it is when you give it to your companions, they mostly do overhead attacks when they're bunched up together. This is perfect for slaughtering tons and tons of enemies. It is the best companion weapon that I have found. And then of course we need a two handed larger variant of this. I'm calling this the Big Reaper. I know, my names are great. This is a tier four, 100% bent razor head. The tier three, 100% four wings. Tier five, 100% decorated long pine shaft. No pommel. Pommels don't really do much for me. This has a weapon reach of 249, swing speed of 63, swing cut damage of 146, and a handling of 57. You'll notice that this is only a 10 point increase in damage, but it is about a 64 increase in weapon reach. This is an incredibly useful weapon for cavalry, giving your NPCs a much better chance to hit, giving you a much better chance to hit. However, I will note that when cavalry clashes with cavalry, it could become actually not so great because the swing speed is less. And then we have the two-handed meat sword, a tier four pointed falchion blade at 100%, a tier three thin western guard at 100%, a tier five tapered horn grip, 100%, and then the base pommel at just 0%. I found the pommels aren't really that great. This will get you a weapon reach of 125, a swing speed of 89, wing cut damage of 150, and handling of 83. Now this weapon's just, it's just a fun weapon. And now let me introduce the Vengeance two-handed axe. Now this is an improvement on my other 2x handle build. This one sacrifices one swing speed for 15 more swing damage. It's really simple to make. It's a tier five large northern broadhead with decorated neck at 0%. Tier 3, leather wrap, two-handed ash shaft at 0%, and no pommel. Uh, pommels, the trade-offs are like one for one. They're just really not that good. This gets you a weapon reach of 90, on par with my prior build. A swing speed of 94, one less swing, and a swing cut damage of 119, which is 15 more than my other build before, and it has the exact same handling. This thing is ridiculously beefy. Um, I'm actually really proud of this one. This is my new, my new Siege Axe. Now let's talk about siege builds and open land battle builds. Now, what's pretty awesome is I've, you know, made a few videos now on the best weapons and I've actually found the little reaper is great on horseback and it's great when you're sieging a castle if you need a weapon with reach. If you're behind your guys and you're trying to poke some people in the head, the two-handed axe is great if you get dismounted in battle in a land battle and it's the ultimate weapon <laughs> for sieging a castle. It's so fast. You can cleave through multiple enemies with it. You're doing an insane amount of damage. You can break shields with it really quickly because it does more damage. It's the ultimate weapon. The only thing you need to switch is when you're on horseback, unless you have the perk, which allows you to use any bow on horseback. Noble bow for land battles and the noble longbow for siege battles. It's a bigger bow and it does a lot more damage. Use the noble longbow if you have the perk, which lets you use any bow. Other than that, I don't change a single thing about this at all. And that's why it is my ultimate build so far, my favorite build. It's just incredibly, incredibly powerful. Now I am playing on a character who has max vigor and max endurance, and I have all my combat skills and everything, high, ath high athletics, high bow, crossbow, one hand, two hand, pole arm. So I'm just good with everything, but yeah. This thing is super nuts. Now, if you like this video, I have two other videos on ultimate weapons. Number one and number two. I also play another game called Farthest Frontier where I build castles and I have excelled on how to exactly build them. So if you're into medieval games, city builders, all that, check out my channel. Thank you all for watching.